try to define what coaching is for those of you who are curious. And in the process of defining it, some sort of a method, uh, sketch, first run at it, evolved. So that for total clarity of what coaching is, it is definitely not about history and context. Coaching is taking what we have here now and assume that client has his or her answers and work with what exists and moving forward. So the purpose of coaching is um, to work with set intentions and clarify purposes for whatever the question is. Then we have the environment of the coaching process. process. So I'm just going to, to give you the map and then he's going to give you the details. <coughs> so basically okay. now that we have a purpose, then we have an environment where coaching happens. Then we have some tools that are being used. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then uh -huh. there are some roles that the coach has. There's some client's responsibilities. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then there's the piece together. Thank you, Larry. I love it. This is yeah. wonderful. Yes. I love it. So, so I think this was really helpful for us. Uh, obviously, this is something we want to apply in our work, and it can be one-on-one -on -one, or it could be group settings. Um, and I think it's important, as Mahela was starting to, to as, she, as she started to mention, to differentiate um, uh, coaching from therapy, right. counseling, mm -hmm. that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, because it, it really is fundamentally about goal setting and moving forward rather than looking at the past or getting into emotions or things like that. Um, so, so from the perspective of goal setting, you can kind of see where it's easy to talk about intentions and purpose. Um, and our role as the coach, we see the client uh, uh, as, as having their own answers. So... So when we talk about things like, uh, you know, creating that proper space for them, um, um, kind of continuing to kind of use a Socratic method of questioning to get them to kind of go deeper. I guess I'm jumping around a little bit here. Um, so, so it's important for us to listen, to ask the appropriate questions, and let them come up with their own answers. And to give them feedback, you know, if we're, if we're, if we're moving, and, and to mirror, you know, if, if we're moving in the right direction, if this is unfolding towards something that gives them greater clarity, again, about the intention and about the purpose. Um, so, so our role, again, is, as a facilitator is, is really to kind of witness this unfolding with compassion and to really kind of hold or host that space uh, for them, that it's a safe space, a safe place space for them to kind of unfold to their own answers. Uh, the client's responsibility uh, really is to kind of own this process of unfolding. You know, to, to, so they're, they're moving really into self-awareness. They're taking responsibility for the actions. We, we try and get them to commit to, you know, what, well, what, are, what are you going to be doing next week? You know, to try and set some goals and kind of hold them responsible for that. And, and to continue to invite them to generate possibilities. You know, they, they may come into this process with really mirrors on, and, and our goal is to really try to invite them to kind of open up and, 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 and look at different kind of possibilities. Together, um, uh, you know, it, 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 it's again making this commitment to each of us that, that we're here to support them in this process of moving forward. And, and that, of course, that they're committed, you know, to, to, to if, if they've got an agreement about setting a goal for next week or next month or, you know, whatever, that, you know, we're going to try and hold them ac what accountable is, for that. That's the one thing I'm not seeing. The co Where is the coach, you know, if you, like you think about sports coaches, it's yeah. like, you know, there's that, there's a little bit more of a push yeah. um, than in stuff. And is there a, a pattern that represents that whole, the coaches holding account? So, or um, or that. Well, that's a really good question. Again, version one here, <laughs> um, and, and again, uh, but but I like I like your suggestion about holding them accountable, and uh, because that's how the, the process is going to continue forward. If 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 um, and and that's our role. I mean, they have to make that commitment to naming, you know, what it is they're wanting to achieve, and what they're going to do this week to 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 achieve that. And our role is is really as, as the second session, because this could be four weeks, could be eight weeks, you know, we're seeing them once a week for 
12 weeks or 30 weeks or whatever it is. So the, the, the second session really would be a recap of, well, where are you with respect to the, the goals that you shared with us for last week? You said this week you're going to do these three things. So let's recap of, as to where you are. So I'm not sure what card uh, Christopher would kind of capture that, but, but that, is a, that is an important element of our role as the coach. Although I heard that there may be even a potential suggestion of where there might be sort of room within the language for that needing to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's feeling, feeling to me like but, I haven't found it. But it's not the pattern language of coaching. No. Right. Yeah, that's right. Coaching is an offshoot. It's not the pattern language of interpersonal conversation yeah, either but, about one-on-one -on -one things. Right. But it's not I'm, the pattern language of therapy. So, I mean, I see commitment in there to me meets it enough, but... Mm -hmm. And can you even he... Oh, I was going to say, I don't want to go too yeah, deep into coaching, yeah. yeah. but I want to see if there are other comments back to the map or other questions that take us. One thing that I think is really cool, and again, in terms of applying it in sort of yes. a different area, yes. is this whole, like, you know, especially for the one-on-one -on -one coaching kind of a thing, the self as community and the moving towards alignment. So okay. it's like there's this piece there very much about it's the moving internally towards alignment as yes. kind of the key piece within there. Yeah. So it's, it's neat seeing how a lot of these things that are explicitly about multiple people mm -hmm. solidly apply in, mm -hmm. in, in these other kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. realms. Thanks, but Tyler. This is really close to what I would say my pattern mapping of teaching is. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, yeah, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. so I saw... I saw all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, then we can come to Angela, and then we're going to move on. Very quick. Um, what's missing for me here is the celebration one, um, which good. I think is very mm -hmm. fundamental. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, thanks. And I really don't know much about coaching at all, and seeing these cards, you know, I would find myself, uh, like, I, I could see this as a promotional tool. Because I could look at your website and go, you know, what is this about? Right. And yeah. re look at those cards and go, oh, okay, so this is my responsibility. This is their responsibility. Ah, oh, this is what we're thinking about. Yeah. 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 So using yeah. the cards more as a promo like promotion? Uh, yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I just wanted to add that when we read these cards, because they're not specific for one-on-one, -on -one, uh -huh. we just uh -huh. eliminated the word group, so... Uh, oh, so we use the cards, reading them through that lens. Rewriting. Nice. To make it work. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank okay. you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.